Very important. Race! Melamorg Hot Goombas by Morg77. Hey, made the first jump. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, I think that's what I- and then I- I mean- Can I not get Yoshi up there? Can I not just get Yoshi up there? I, I feel like I should want that. Wonky area. Yeah, I mean, I want the deathless any percent, but I just want to improve the hundred percent because it's garbage. But I can just do that all at one time. That's the beauty of it. What is that? What is that jank right there? All right, made it. Great job by me. We might just get utterly destroyed. See, none of this makes sense. actually all made sense so what I wanted to do was grab the pow but hit the shell and then we would have jumped off the shell let go of the pow the senseless killing of poor Yoshi it's not really senseless he's a double jump of stories it's not it's not my fault that that's what he's good for that's that's what Yoshi does, you know what I mean? I know, the whole grabbing a pow off the muncher, like the way he has it set up, is not the... Not my all-time favorite setups, but... You know. You know. Oh, awesome. Oh. I screwed that up. Why do I keep dropping that? I keep dropping it early. I just need to jump. I'm making it harder than it needs to be. Damn! Why do I keep doing that? Why do I keep throwing it? All right. In there, baby. <laughs> I mean, like the obviously the fastest strats. Hey extremely difficult. Punch out's just a fucking fun game. Ah! Damn it, I missed. Oh, I thought I was gonna miss that. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I could just get up there if I really just jumped high. Did you play Earthbound or Chrono Trigger? Um, I do. I'm not a fan of Earthbound. Everybody's a fan of Earthbound. Earthbound has one of the best. It's a really great story. I don't think the game's that great. 
Chrono Trigger is one of my all-time favorite games. Easily in my top 50. Which should be like, oh, that's not all-time. Man, I played a lot of games. It's all-time. Plus, Chrono Trigger's got the best trope in all of storytelling, which is time travel. Damn it, I missed it. I think Chrono Trigger holds up today. I think a lot of Super Nintendo games hold up today. I don't, I, it's a console that, that aged really well. Whereas I think like the N64 and PlayStation 1 did not, you know, the games on there did not age as well. Yeah. I even think Genesis games weirdly didn't age as well. Dang it. You gotta like be going down with Yoshi to make that work. Yeah, exactly. The jump to 3D was hard, and we probably jumped to 3D a few years earlier than we really should have. Like, the PS1 had no business pumping out 3D games. And poor Sega Saturn... Oh, I had it. The poor Sega Saturn, uh, because it was, you know, mostly built around making more 2D games, could have been amazing, but... You know what I always think? I think if they did the Sega Saturn reveal, like if Nintendo did that one year, where like the same thing that Sega Saturn did, they'll just like brand new console right now, out in stores, everywhere. Hmm. How dare you dog on one of the greatest games ever in which I've never played before. Wow. Chrono Trigger's great. I mean, Earthbound's good. It's not a bad game. I just don't like the gameplay. I think the combat's super boring in it. Um... Uh, yeah, I have a Sega Saturn. I only have one game for it. And it was sent to me by a viewer. Um, and I'm super appreciative of it. I want to play it. Um, but I, I think if they did that now, today, in the age of the internet... Like, they did that in what? Like, 96? If they did that today in the age of the internet, I feel like the Sega Saturn would have been a huge deal. Dang it, man. I just want to get this. See, I feel like that spring went right through me that time. Finally! Okay. There's a lot going on there. I don't know if I fully understand or comprehend that last section yet. I think I'm gonna jump off another shell. I'm gonna drop a pow at some point. Oh, I see what I need to throw that up, and then I'm gonna hit that shell. Oh, we got it! Oh, I hope we get, <laughs> I hope we get a checkpoint. Oh, thank God! All right, all right, we're making our way through this level. We're we're pot committed now. What happened to my drinking bottle? It's in the wash. I don't actually say wash for the record. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I we've had, I don't know if it's OBS. I don't think it's my internet. I feel like it's OBS that's causing such consistent frame drops. I'm not gonna reset. I know this is a preview door, but I mean, 
Like, I don't think any of this is helpful. I'll just throw that out there. Yeah, I'm still on 56k. None of this makes any sense. <laughs> oh! Just killed that Mario out of frustration. Oh man, I, I, the early days of the internet was a lot harder. Like having dial up internet was really rough. Like when I was raiding in EverQuest, and EverQuest was pretty punishing, okay? So you guys, I mean, I'm assuming most people in here are at least familiar with World of Warcraft. You might not be familiar with EverQuest and how difficult it was. But, like, in EverQuest, if you died, you are you were naked. You respawned, and then you were naked in the world, and you had nothing. And you had to physically go get your body and loot it. Oh, 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 that's a cool section. I did not realize that was going to happen in that section. Oh, that was sexy. Yeah, this is Mario Maker. It is wife. Um, I'm not saying EverQuest is not still a thing. I know it's still a thing. I was, I was, I was hoping for EverQuest next. But like, you died and you had to go get your body. So there's also a bunch of continents in EverQuest, and you had to take these like really long boat rides, like 15 minute boat rides to back and forth of these continents and there's ocean that goes deep and not deep and there's like shit in the ocean and if your internet connection lagged for whatever reason keep in mind it's 56k you'd fall off the fucking boat and your body would drain into the ocean and then it was just there like it would just sit there and if you didn't get it within 24 hours game time or seven days real time it was gone your body deteriorated away and every fucking thing you had was gone so you would have to like pay someone like one time I had to pay a necromancer to go get my body He had to like he had to like go like I was like I can't pay you all my stuff's on the body like so I was like I'll pay you once you get my body and I didn't have any money to pay him But I didn't have any other way to get my body so I conned this necro I shouldn't say con I persuaded this necromancer to spend his like entire afternoon It took like two hours to go get my body from this one area at one point point. And then I didn't have any money to pay him, so I just, like, looted all my stuff and then logged out. And, like, because I didn't want to, you know, like, I didn't <laughs> I didn't know what else to do, though. I, didn't, I, I, like, had no other option. I'm, like, a 15-year-old with no other option but to get his body and, like, didn't want to lose all of his work. All because his, all because, like, his parent picked up the phone to try and dial out while he was in the middle of a deep raid. Yeah, I felt I still feel bad man. I still feel bad about that Obviously obviously I feel bad about it because it's still a thing that I think about and it still bothers me that I did that But I had no other option. It was like lose all my progress. I'm like a level 46 character in the middle of a hell level That's what the other thing. So in EverQuest they have hell levels Hell levels are bullshit Hell levels are like, you got level 30, level 35, level 40, level 41, 42, 43, like, like a bunch of them. But like, hell levels, you gain like, absolutely no experience for anything. You gain like, one tenth the experience, but when you lost it, you lost like, ten times the experience. When you die, you lost experience. So like, if you died at any point in hell level, you basically just de-leveled. Like, you could de-level, you could lose levels. You could suck so bad in that game, you could get killed so many times, that you just go back to one. It was insane. Same game. <laughs> Oh my god, that was embarrassing. Like, I hated going to new zones in EverQuest, because I would just always get nervous, because I had no idea what was going on. Oh, we're in there! Oh, we're not done. Oh, this is a full section. Oh, yeah, this is totally makes tons of sense. How much sense did all that make? Did anybody understand that? Alrighty. 
Am I s I'm supposed to catch the spring, I just realized. Okay. I got this. Alright. In there. This level's flashy. Damn it. Oh, I... I smash against the wall. Oh no! I didn't realize that Goomba was gonna be there. That was my fault. I don't know what to do. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what really happened there. All right. All right, this level's cool. I'm sorry for bad-mouthing this level at the beginning. Okay, I need to throw that up earlier. No, I got I can't throw it up before if I throw it up while I'm spin jumping, it's not going to... See, this doesn't make sense. I'm not going to bounce off that dry bones if I throw it up while spin jumping. Oh, I gotta drop it! Damn it! I was worried for a second. This is a serious level. Uh, we all get we all get a true ending. Everybody gets true ending. <laughs> hey Yoshi. Hey buddy. Hey, I'm just gonna need you to stand right there. Just you just wait, right there, okay? Okay, I'll come right back for you, I promise. I'm just gonna go right over here. Yeah, just right over here. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. Yeah, some Yoshi's gotta die. <laughs> And some Yoshis just die for fun, I guess.
Thank you.